If you're considering a move to this charming and beautiful community of Fordham Hills, you're in for a real treat. Today, we're spilling the beans on everything you need to know about Fordham Hills and why this is the community to be. So grab a coffee and let's get started. where suburban tranquility meets the soul of a small town community. It's nestled in the heart of Lake County. This beautiful community has something for everyone. Whether you're a family looking for top-notch schools or a professional seeking vibrant neighborhood or just someone searching for a place with a heart, Vernon Hills has got you covered. First things first, let's talk about education. Vernon Hills boasts some of the finest schools around, providing top-notch education opportunities for students of all ages. Let's talk about the few notable schools in the area and school districts. So first of all, Hawthorne School District 73. It's renowned for its dedication to academic excellence. This district encompasses multiple schools, including Elementary North, Elementary South, and Middle School North. Hawthorne schools prioritize the holistic development of students, fostering love for learning in nurturing environments. Now second, Stevenson High School. Known for its high academic standards, Stevenson High School has consistently ranked among the best in the state and the best in the country with a strong focus on college preparation a wide range of extracurricular activities and supportive community it's no wonder students thrive here and three countryside montessori school for families seeking montessori education countryside montessori offers an enriching environment for children to develop independence creativity love lifelong learning and it's located in northbrook Now, let's talk about the amazing community spirit that defines Vernon Hills. From block parties to farmer's markets to local festivals, this place knows how to come together and have a good time. So get ready and meet your future neighbors because Vernon Hills embraces the warm and welcoming atmosphere like no other. One of the festivals that I recommend is the summer celebration. Every year, Vernon Hills hosts the highly anticipated The Vernon Hills Days, a festival extravaganza that brings the entire community together. The thrilling amusement rides to live music, performances, delicious food vendors, this event has something for everyone. Vernon Hills Farmers Market. The Farmers Market is a community hub where residents gather to support local farmers, artisans while enjoying fresh produce, handmade crafts, and live entertainment. It's a great place to connect with your neighbors, discover unique products, and savor flavors from all of the region. How about holidays? When the holiday season rolls around, Vernon Hills transforms into a winter wonderland. The community comes alive with festive decorations, tree lighting ceremonies, and seasonal events that bring joy to young and old alike. From visits from the Santa Claus to ice skating under the twinkling lights, you'll definitely feel the magic of the season. Let's talk about block parties. Throughout the year, you'll find lively block parties where neighbors gather for food, games, and good old-fashioned fun. I remember on one weekend in May, I was showing a home in one of the Vernon Hills community. We drove past the Holly Dhamal Festival of Color Celebration, and the community was just coming alive. And that was one of the reasons why my clients decided to buy that home because of the sense of the community. And if you're looking for a perfect place to call home, Vernon Hills offers an array of real estate options that will make your heart skip a beat. From cozy townhouses to spacious single-family homes, there is a dreamy property waiting for you. Now, these are the great townhome communities that I would recommend for you to consider. Aspen Point, with townhouses built in 2013, lower association fee is about $200, and townhomes selling in the $350 to $400,000 price range. Bay Hill is another great townhome community built in 2005. Now here are a few of my favorite single family communities in Vernon Hills. Greg's Landing, which is probably one of the most known subdivisions in Vernon Hills with a golf course, tennis court, and beautiful landscaping all around. It does have a small association fee of about $350 a year to help maintain the common grounds. If you're looking for homes in about $400,000 price range, I would consider looking at subdivisions like Deer Path. I also really like Centennial Crossing as a community with a lovely architecture and residences at CUNY Mansion and Gardens, another great community that has newer built homes. Now, if you're looking for new construction, I would also look at Woodland Chase subdivision. 
Now here's a quick bonus, a few places I would definitely recommend for you to visit in Vernon Hills. First of all, Independence Grove Forest Preserve that offers tranquil escape in its scenic trails, picturesque lake and picnic areas. This preserve has something for everyone, biking, hiking or simply just relaxing in nature. Second, Cunio Mansion and Gardens, immerse yourself in the history and beauty of this place. This stunning estate features breathtaking gardens, art collections, and architectural marvels. Now let's talk about the shopping scene. Here are a few spots I recommend. First of all is Melody Farm. It's a trendy outdoor shopping mall. We're standing right here. It's always nice to come here. The Lifestyle Center combines upscale shopping with vibrant atmosphere. Explore the stylish boutiques, enjoy a fresco dining, and take a beautiful surroundings in when you're sitting here in the little patio. Second is Hawthorne Square. For those who appreciate convenience in one-stop shopping, Hawthorne Square has you covered. The shopping plaza offers a mix of popular retailers, including a Target, Best Buy, Ulta Beauty, and so many more. There is also Westfield Hawthorne Mall, which is more like a typical mall, but also there is Main Street Libertyville. It's just a short drive for Vernon Hills. I made a video about it right over here. Take a look at it. It's a charming downtown area with a variety of locally owned shops, boutiques, restaurants. You can definitely explore a lot and take a few days to take it all in. And don't even get me started on the dining scene here in Vernon Hills. There are so many choices and the beautiful part is it always gets redeveloped. This wraps up our exciting journey through Vernon Hills and if you're looking for a home here in the Northwest and North Shore suburbs, please make sure to reach out. I'll make sure you find the perfect home. Thanks so much and I look forward to seeing you very soon. Bye!